Republic a manual from the United States Guantanamo Bay Detention Center. A military manual leaked on the internet is revealing details of the way terror suspects are being treated at the U.S. naval base at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. It tells of the use of solitary confinement and humiliation to break down the detainees mentally. Human rights groups have for years been asking the U.S. administration for access to this manual. If you censor important material of this type, we're not just going to criticize you. We're going to take the material that you tried to censor and we're going to spray it all over the world and we're going to stick it in our archives in a way that's never going to disappear and encourage everyone to get copies of it. WikiLeaks' battle against censorship knows no geographical frontiers. The next step is to publish an internal report commissioned by the multinational trading company Trafigura, who are alleged to have dumped toxic waste in the Ivory Coast that caused tens of thousands of people to seek medical care. The Guardian newspaper was going to produce a big story on this, and as a result, they were gagged. The company obtained a secret order in court to gag all the press in the UK from reporting anything related to the content of that report and the fact that they had been gagged. In the US, hackers discover that the Republican presidential candidate Sarah Palin is apparently bypassing US transparency laws by using a private email account to conduct government business. WikiLeaks publishes her messages. After just two years, the sites made public over a million secret documents, but WikiLeaks as an organization continues to be largely shrouded in secrecy. Only Julian Assange and Daniel domscheit berry appear in public, the latter under the pseudonym Schmidt. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Daniel Schmidt. This is Julian Assange. Um, we're here to make a short presentation about the WikiLeaks project. According to The National, which is something that we are kind of proud, um, it's one of the last quotes we had. So The National has said that we have produced more scoops in our short existence than The Washington Post in the last 30 years. Um, Their publication activities soon lead to counterattacks. When WikiLeaks release lists of censored websites, internet service providers in a number of countries, including Thailand, China and Iran, shut them down. The more sensitive the material they publish, the more often WikiLeaks become the object of lawsuits and threats. WikiLeaks now attracts the attention of the US intelligence, who, in a classified report, claim that the site is a threat to national security and suggest ways of shutting it down. Priority is put on finding the individuals leaking the information. The US intelligence, however, only managed to keep the report secret a short while before it's leaked to WikiLeaks. It now becomes obvious that WikiLeaks need to find more and safer havens from which they can publish their information. A sequence of events now starts on an island in the middle of the North Atlantic which, while it leads to more censorship efforts, will also create new opportunities for WikiLeaks. October came, October 2008, and the Icelandic banking system imploded. It lost 17 eighteenths of its mass over the course of about a week or two. It was Essentially, one bank per week went bankrupt. WikiLeaks obtained material that show how Iceland's catastrophic bank collapses were partly due to cronyism or favoritism, carelessness and secretiveness. When this highly detailed document is put out on the net, the bank launches a counterattack. Well, the first time I've...